Hey everyone and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video we are actually going to be building Axie, my female Syrian, an upgrade. She really wasn't happy in her Linman so we decided to make the IKEA Platzer cage and here's how we built it. So firstly we obviously went to Ikea to pick up the parts and all we needed was the Platzer wardrobe and then also the Vard glass door. In total this costed me around £65 to build which I think is amazing for how big it is. So after we collected everything we obviously paid and then we had to try and get it all in our tiny car but thankfully it did all fit. Then next we headed to B&Q to get the brackets that we needed to connect the Vard glass door. So I'm going to do my best at explaining how we built it but pause this and quickly look at the picture as this just shows what bit we used for what part of the cage. So the wardrobe is a slot together wardrobe and it does come with tools however we didn't need to use any of these and because it is slot together uh, we needed to make it stronger so we actually screwed it together as it's going to be a hamster cage. So this is just us lining up everything to make sure it all fits. Then we screwed on the back, we just put three screws on each end and then we screwed on the door with the brackets, we just put two of these at each end and then it was built so it's actually really simple to build if you just have the right tools and then i siliconed it all and sealed it to make sure no like wee or dirt got into the gaps and i used a solvent free non-toxic aquarium silicone and got rid of all the excess so it was now time to set the cage up and i just started off by disinfecting everything with a pet safer disinfectant and then we moved it into my room which was actually the easiest part because it actually wasn't that heavy uh, so this is just sitting on top of my Ikea chest of drawers then I started filling up the cage with chipsy wood shavings I had to get some new bedding because her linman is smaller than this so the bedding wouldn't have filled up the whole of the platzer cage so I added in a layer of new bedding and once I had a good amount of bedding in there I started adding the bedding in from her linman and I compressed everything down really really well so that it held burrows really well and this is just me transferring everything from the linman into her cage I literally transferred all of the bedding from her Linman into the new cage so that her scent was completely in there. After all the bedding was in I measured it to make sure there was a good amount in there and by the time I was finished she actually had 13 inches across the whole enclosure which was exactly what I wanted. Then I started adding everything in so the multi-chamber hide is on stilts, the wheel is on top of an IKEA platform and all of the heavy stuff is just supported under the bedding so that if she burrows under it it won't collapse on her. Then I started by adding everything else in, I added in Core Glog and her sand bath is also on a Ikea platform just opposite the wheel. I really tried to get a good angle on setting up the cage but because it is so big I literally could not fit the whole thing in so I just got in as much as I possibly could but the sand bath is opposite the wheel. And this is just me cleaning all of the bedding out of her sand bath because she makes it so messy. So next I decided to do what I done in her old cage in the last video. I just added like a little level of bedding. She really enjoyed this last time so I thought I'd add it into her new enclosure. And next I'm adding in all of her grapevine which I just for some reason have really a lot of trouble placing grapevine in enclosures. I feel like these especially are just such odd shapes that they're just really hard to incorporate into the enclosure and I actually just ended up using one instead of two of them. 
and I actually done a Zoo Plus order that had more grapevine in it because I thought I would need so much more to fill up Axie's new cage with but it didn't even come in time and looking at it now I definitely do not have space for any of the new stuff I ordered so anyway I'm just deciding where to put all of the grapevine and then I'm adding in a little bridge up to the little level and I'm still really trying to place that grapevine. <laughs> As you can see, I just gave up and used one piece and I really couldn't decide where to put this cork log because I just felt like everywhere I put it, it was in the way, um, but I settled on putting it next to the large bendy bridge and then putting the smaller one into the corner next to the multi chamber hide. After that, I still really tried to incorporate that piece of grapevine um, and then I added her jar of Chipsy Ultra. This is actually a new thing that we got recommended by one of our friends and Axie absolutely loves it. I just literally put it in a little jar and she loves to dig in it. Then I'm just adding in her terracotta plant pot and I just put all the moss from her old cage into the plant pot so that I didn't lose any of it. Now I'm adding in her little platform. Uh, this is just a DIY platform. It's the little heat pack of three heat mats from Ikea and I just added bamboo stilts on them uh, with non-toxic hot glue. I just love how these look in the enclosure and it's just an extra place to put her water bowl. Next, I just added all of that moss on top of her willow tunnel over in the corner and then I'm just adding in just little bits just to fill up the cage a bit. Axie likes a really busy cage and she likes there to be a lot of things for her to do and explore. So it's really important that I get all of them textures and forage and flowers and just that all of that enrichment in there for her just so she really enjoys the cage. Next, I decided to add this little ceramic hide. Uh, this is actually a bird feeder from Aldi and it actually makes a really good ceramic hide for Syrians as it is actually large enough. Then I'm just moving around the willow tunnel again because I wasn't happy where I put it and I'm putting the Gypsy Ultra just back next to it. I added the coconut on top of the willow tunnel Sorry for the change in quality here, I had to switch to my iPad as my phone ran out of storage but here I'm just adding in some red millet and yellow millet and I'm also adding in just some coconut husk and also just some leaves and forage. I used nettle leaves, birch leaves and raspberry leaves. Here I decided to make the little platform look like a waterfall, so I just got some blue Carefresh and literally packed it onto the bendy bridge so that it just looked like it was flowing down and I really love this feature and I don't know, I just like how it looked and it also added a little pop of colour as well. I don't use Carefresh that often because I bulk buy a lot of my substrates as having eight hamsters, you go through a lot of substrate, but my hamsters actually adore Carefresh when I add it in their enclosure and nine times out of 10, they actually end up taking it all to their burrow in their multi-chamber hide to sleep in, which I think is really cute. Next, I'm just adding in some blue flowers into the cocoa fiber just to keep in with the sea theme and the waterfall. Then I'm adding in the flax sprays. These are my hamster's favorites. And I also added in her pumpkin hide back into the corner just because it's not Halloween yet. So I thought I'd add it back in ready for Halloween. 
and I just added some dandelion forage around it. It always takes me ages to place sprays because I never know where to put them and because all of the bedding is compressed, it's really hard to just like poke them in. <laughs> I also DIY'd some wood slice steps, I don't know if you can see there next to the platform and the cork log, and they actually turn out really cute. I just glued these together with non-toxic hot glue. Next I am just adding in some forage and also some flowers, these flowers are from Tiny Flower Shop, I'll link them down below again. I use their Halloween flower mix and also just their regular flower mix. The smell of their flowers honestly is just incredible, it's probably one of my favourite smells. And that's the cage pretty much done, so I inserted some pictures so that you could see the final product and how it actually turned out. And Axie definitely enjoyed her upgrade and I'm really happy about that because she was just not happy with the Linman. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope my explaining about building it wasn't too bad, but thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.